Hello my crafty friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Sarah Chatella McGuire from Sassy Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today's card is this one. We are going to be making like a non-traditional fall card using soft sea foam and mint macaroon or macaron. So if you want to see how to make this card, please keep watching. So first things first, we are starting with the Hello Harvest bundle. This is part of the Rustic Harvest suite in the July to December mini catalog. The Hello Harvest stamp set is a cling stamp set, which means it's red rubber, and there are 11 stamps in here. And then it also comes with the Rustic Pumpkin dies. And these are really cool. If you buy them as a bundle, you actually save 10%. Don't forget to use my host code when you are shopping my online store to be entered to win this month's fabulous prizes, which the grand prize is Stampin' Rewards, where you can get free product. Um, and to see all the prizes, just head over to my blog. I have a whole post there. These are the dies. We're going to be using these ones today to make these really cool embossed pumpkins. We're also going to be using this label, this little vine here, and then I need the stem for my pumpkin. These ones actually cut out the shapes in the stamp set. So it is a very versatile uh, bundle. And like I said, when you buy them together, you will save 10%. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to do our stamping because we only have a little bit of stamping. So I'm going to move these to the side. I'm going to use soft sea foam and we're going to be using this label stamp here and then this little swirly do there. All the measurements for this card are also on my blog. So head over there. The link is in the description of this video. I just have a scrap here of basic white, and then I have the inside of our card, which is what we're going to be doing our little swirly do on. Let's do our sentiment first. Go ahead and open my ink pad and ink it up. I am not pushing too hard, just tap, 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 making sure I get the whole stamp covered. Looks pretty good. And we're just going to press it down, straight down, straight up looks good to me and then we're going to die cut that so i'm going to set that to the side we're going to grab our um, inside piece and our little swirly do i don't know what it's called it's just a little swirly do and i'm just stamping one in opposite corners here diagonally and that's it for stamping there really isn't a whole lot of stamping to this card so let's get out the we're going to use the mini stamp and cut emboss machine and then we can start putting our card together. So I have the mini stamp and cut emboss machine out. I just have the number one platform down. We're going to put down a cutting plate and let's do our sentiment first. Just going to put the paper down and then my die. Line it up is pretty easy to see how it lines up. And then I'm going to carefully stick the cutting plate on top and run this through. We have our label, and push that back through, and I have a scrap piece of um, soft sea foam, and we're going to put our two pumpkin pieces on that, and this one you don't have to be quite as careful about. We're just going to run this through. So these are our pumpkin pieces. We're going to set those to the side. Push this back through. Kind of making everything a little wobbly here. But I have a piece of mint, macaroon, macaron, however you say it. And I just put a little bit of an adhesive sheet on the back. We're going to put our vine. Make sure I line it up with that adhesive sheet and our stem. And if the adhesive sheet gets on there, that's okay. We don't really need it to. But if it does, great. And just run this through. And those are our pieces. I'm going to leave them stuck in there for now. We're going to put the mini um, cut and emboss machine away and then we can assemble our card. So now we're ready to assemble our card. I have all my pieces here, but I did want to show you off camera. I embossed a piece of basic white using the Time Worn Type 3D embossing folder. 
This does not fit in the mini stamp and cut embossed machine. This only fits in the standard, which is why I did it off camera, so I didn't have to lug the big machine over here. But I did do a quick dry emboss on this cardstock, and it's very, I don't know, old-timey, classic. I like it. So I have my card base. This is soft sea, sea foam, and all the measurements are on the um, corresponding blog post. If you just click the link in the description of this video, it'll take you right to that blog post, and you get all the measurements. Then I have a piece of mint macaroon here, and I'm going to just put this, oh, before I do that, but I'm going to put some seal on here, and then we're going to add a little bit of ribbon. And I have the soft sea foam seam binding ribbon. All the supplies, too, are on that blog post. Before I flip that over, I'm just going to take this, stick it to that, wrap it around, good to go make sure it's the right way up you can see the words and how they are supposed to go I did do one before where it was upside down I'm just gonna stick that to our mint macaron macaroon whatever and then we're gonna put our pumpkin together so I have our two pieces of the pumpkin I'm just taking some seal running it across the back kind of putting the pumpkin where I want it to go layering that on and then we're going to take some dimensionals, put it on the back. Two should be fine. Pop out our little vine and our stem. Grab my paper piercer to peel the back of this off. It makes those adhesive sheets, I really like it, makes it almost like a sticker. And the little... Um, circular pieces came right out which is great so I just toss that and just kind of place it where I want it perfect I'm going to peel the we've got a little adhesive sheet on our stem which is fine I'm just going to peel that off and then whoops where did it go lost it <laughs> and then run a little bit of seal over that part I'm going to put this down first about there and then we can take the backings off of our dimensionals pop that up to about there and then i'm going to put a few dimensionals on the back of our sentiment i thought about maybe moving the sentiment just because on the sample i showed the bow and everything is kind of in the way so let's see what this will look like before i take off the Oh, I like it up there. We'll put it up top before I take off the backing. I didn't want it to stick down and then I hated it. So pop this up there, cover that stem a little. And then I just already have made a bow because nobody needs to see me struggle with a bow. It's not my skill set, but I try. I'm just going to press this onto a mini glue dot, pull it off, and set it on our um, ribbon. And now we need a little bit of embellishment. So I have some of the Pearl Basic Jewels here, and then I have the dark mint macaroon, macaron, macaroon. I think it's macaron because there's only one O. But I have the dark um, blend from the combo pack, and I'm just gonna color a couple of these pearls. I'm gonna color one of each size. So there's the big one, a medium one, and a small one and this is an alcohol marker so it's pretty quick to dry i'm just going to set that aside and let it dry for a minute and we'll put the rest of our card together and then we'll add our pearls i'm just running some seal along the back putting it on our card base and then get some seal on the back of our inside panel. And onto my grid paper, apparently. If that ever happens, I like to keep my grid paper good as long as I can. You can just roll it up with your finger. And then place that on the inside. And then we can grab our pearls with that paper piercer. You can also use the tip of your scissors. And I'm just kind of randomly placing them 
we'll put it here. We'll put the third one up here, almost like a zigzag. Choo -choo. <laughs> so that is it for our card. I'm liking this one a lot better. I like, because this is just, it's too crowded down here. I should have put this up more. But you know what? You learn every time you make a car. So I want to thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget, if you are going to shop in my online store, to use the August host code um, to be entered in our big grand prize drawing, which the winner will be drawn September 1st. So you still have some time for that. Um, I want you to... Uh, subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me and hit the little notification bell and you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I upload every Monday and I upload our Facebook lives on Fridays. So thank you so much for watching and have a great week.